of your company at a costume party at Meesham House, Meesham, 8 p.m. Saturday, September the 19th. To arrive this morning, you say? Yeah. I didn't know you moved in these exalted circles. Are you going, Steve? I don't know. Oh, you must. I will have to think of a costume for you. Father, can you put your mind to this? Thank you. I think if I go at all, I'll go as Jesse James. In your 29 Bugatti. How else? I, uh... I acted him once in college. I think I still have the costume. You can't go to a smart dude like this as Jesse James. Who is Robert Sawyer, anyway? I don't know. You mean you don't know him? No. Well, he seems to know you. Do come if you can, Bobby S. I know. That's what puzzles me. Oh, come on, Steve. You must have met him somewhere. Does he mean me, boy? I can honestly say I never met him before in my life. Trying to find Meesham. That sign back there is. Sorry, you don't take any notice of that. It's broken. You want that road to Meesham? Brings you right into the village. Matter of fact, it's Meesham House I want, not the village. Meesham House? Yes. Yeah. You want Meesham House? That's right. I'm expected there. Well, don't worry about it. Uh, you'll probably know in the village anyway. Thanks.
Good evening, sir. Oh, uh, good evening. My name's Stephen Miller. Your card, sir? Pardon? Your invitation card. Oh. Right. There you are. Thank you very much. Should I have tipped him? Oh, I think he'd have been very surprised if you had. Huh. Well, I'm uh, not too up on the procedures. Boy, that's some collection out there. Which one's yours? It's Green Elvis. Oh, yeah. I see it. Mine's the Bugatti. Oh, are they any good? I was thinking of getting one. Well, they're uh, just a little hard to come by. Really? Hmm. Julian! Tiresome woman. Coming! Who are you supposed to be? Isn't it obvious? Well, looks like Nelson. It is Nelson. Jesse James. How'd you do? Hurry up in there. Patience, sweet Emma, patience. Excuse me. Hmm? Oh, sorry. <laughs> How do I look? A frightful fool. Come on. Hello, Caroline. How are you? Nice to see you. Hello, John. How are you? Are you enjoying yourself? Yes, Sir Francis Drake should be in later on. I'll be seeing you. There's nothing cruel about hunting at my Mildred. The stag oh. likes it. Yes, oh, yes, Henry. of course he does. He has a very good chance of getting away. Oh, really? Come on. Welcome, welcome. Do come in. Make yourselves comfortable. Henry, I think that we have a few guests still to come. Welcome, my dear fellow. How nice to see you. Do come in and have some champagne. Thank you. Glad that you could get here in time. That's a very fine costume you're wearing. Well, I, uh, I hope it's recognizable. Oh, yes, it is. 
Yes, it certainly is. Let me see now. Uh, it must be the Francis Drake. The Earl of Essex. Sorry. No, no, don't be sorry. It makes no difference. Actually, I think you've mistaken me. Oh, have I? In what way? Bob, darling. Ah, oh, would you excuse me and my mother? Or perhaps we could talk later. Well, yes, of course, dear Stephen. If you'd like to, yes, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, will you form two large circles for the Paul Jones? you wouldn't come. We haven't met before, have we? But you seem to know me. Well, when we were dancing just now, you said you were afraid I wouldn't come. Then you said your name was Rose, and I said my name was Stephen. You nodded as if you knew already. I meant I was afraid you wouldn't come round to me in the dance. You wanted to meet me? Why? You looked interesting. New face. Is that the only reason? Now you're embarrassing me. No, I didn't mean to do that. It's just that I have something you can help me with. You see, I got this invitation from Bobby. Now, he seems to know who I am, but I can't recall having met him. Why did you come then? Curiosity, I guess. <laughs> Don't laugh, it's not funny. I'm sorry, but what do you want me to do? I thought maybe you could fill me in about him. You know him well? He's my cousin. Uh, close or distant? I know him pretty well. Well, then maybe you could find out how he knows me. Do you really want me to? I'm just trying to establish some sort of link, that's all. Of course. The cars in the driveway. This isn't some sort of rally, is it? I don't know. I own this 1929 Bugatti. And I have a lot of friends with the same interest. Probably one of them. It was Bobby and got me invited. You know a guy named Mike Andover? No. Well, he sold me this Bugatti when I first got over here. He's probably around here dressed as King Canute or somebody. Is it so important to know why you're here? Can't you just enjoy yourself? Yes. But you must admit it's a little embarrassing to be invited to a party where you don't know anybody. Not even the host. But you know me? Yes, I do, don't I? Rose, my sweet child. Isn't John with you? No, he had to stay in London. Oh, wielding the knife. Chop, chop, is he? Yes. What's rotten now? If you get bored, do join us. Who's John? He's just a friend. Would you like another? <laughs> yes, please. And something to eat?
Hello. Hi. You're one of the house party, aren't you? No, I'm just visiting from London. Oh, then you must be with Cynthia. Sir. Cynthia? Hazel. No, uh, actually, I'm with Rose. Which one? Parkington or Carruthers? Butterfly Rose. Oh, Parkington, oh, she's such a dear, but isn't she with John? John who? A march. The darling is after him. No, uh, he, uh, he got hung up in London, wielding the knife, you know? Chop, chop. They look so perfect together at Henley. We're rather expecting an announcement. You mean marriage? Silly boy. What else? Hello. You know him? Who? Oh, him. No, not really. Met him upstairs. He's with Rose Parkington. Rose? Isn't she with John? Apparently not. Did you see your friend? The one you were talking about, King Canute? No, uh, actually, I got waylaid by a Greek goddess instead. She was dressed like a Greek goddess. The resemblance ended there. What did she say to you? Oh, she just wanted to know if I was a house guest or was I one of Cynthia's group. She seemed to know you. She also mentioned John. Oh. Darling, may I join you? With pleasure. Oh, how kind. Me. I thought it might be. One to be avoided? <laughs> yes, she's a terrible bore. <laughs> <laughs> Why the butterfly? Pardon? Your costume. Don't you like it? Oh, yes, very much. But they're such sad creatures, butterflies. Especially the rare ones. You see them for a minute, they're gone. You're not like that, are you? What would you like me to have been? Oh, I don't know. Something more permanent. Like a goddess. Immortal? Exactly. Would you uh, like another dance? It's a Charleston. That's right. I can't do this. I'll try. Very good. American, isn't he? Hmm. Who brought him, Cynthia? That's what I thought, but she says she's never set eyes on him. You think his gate crashed? Impossible. Must be with somebody. Well, Bobby will know, won't he? I asked him, but he wasn't sure. But then you know how he is. I think I'll have a word with Lady Sawyer. For Rosie's sake. That's very good. Rosie, darling. Go ahead. I'm just taking my chance of getting something to eat while the, uh, the young things are cavorting. Don't you dance? Yes, I do, but, uh, the Charleston's just a little out of my range. Thought I'd leave it to the professions. Very wise. It's a wonderful party. Oh, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I am, really. I, I knew it existed, this English country set, but... This is the first chance I've had to observe it with my own eyes. And is it as you imagined it would be? Yes, I suppose it is. You don't find us too provincial after the excitements of London? No, as a matter of fact, I feel I'm at the heart of some great tradition that nothing will ever change, no matter what happens to the rest of the world. It's very reassuring to an American. Yes, I can understand that. 
Well, you know, the company may sometimes lack sparkle, and the conversation very often lacks wit. But I suppose there's something about our resilience that is rather endearing. Yes, indeed. There's something I must ask you. Why did you invite me here? We haven't met before, I'm sure. But, my dear chap, I didn't invite you. Well, then who did? Oh, come now. It was Rose. Rose? Would you mean she didn't tell you? No, she didn't. How strange. She was most insistent that you came. It's ridiculous. I'm only telling you what he said. That you insisted I attend the party. Poor Bobby, he's so terribly vague. He seemed pretty sure to me. Don't you believe me? Yes, I believe you. Thank you. Why don't we just go and ask him? Clear up the mystery. No. Why not? Because it bores me, Stephen. And we're wasting time. Where are you taking me? What does that stupid girl think she's up to? What do you mean, Martha? Oh, dear Rob, come now. The whole party's been watching them. You more than anyone. She's up to something, and I think I should be told what it is. She's enjoying herself, that's all. She's no right to. She's already spoken for. Everyone knows that. And I'm sufficiently fond of John to be concerned. A passing flirtation? You should stop it. You should always have stopped it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. The Sawyers have lived here long? Yes, many years. Bobby's the last of the line. Care to sit? What'll happen to the house when he's gone? Could it be yours? No. It's kind of sad when a family that goes that far back into history finally comes to an end. Maybe we can do something about it. Get Bobby a wife. He won't marry. You seem pretty sure. It's too late. If you say so. What about the old lady? What's she like? Queen Victoria, Bobby's mother. Why do you ask? Well, I've had one or two strange looks from her. Sort of a... Tread carefully, young man. You know, that kind of look. I get the feeling she's watching us, correct? She's always been very fond of me. Yes, I can understand that. I used to come and play here as a child. I used to feel so safe here. Don't you still feel safe? You're cold. You want to go back to the house? I have a coat in my car. Would you like me to get it for you? I'll be right back. Don't go away. her back. She belongs to her. You're welcome to her. She's nothing to do with me. She's using you to protect her. Give her to me.
I'm sorry, I thought you were someone else. John Marchmount, the surgeon. Yes. I thought I recognized the car. No. This is mine. Yes, of course. My mistake. So sorry. think so? Yes. I can feel it. The storms frighten you? Childhood fears, huh? When I was up to the car just now, I got mistaken for John. Don't you think you ought to tell me about him? I mean, it's only fair, isn't it? Rumor has it you're practically engaged. That's not true. I didn't mean to upset you. I had to. For selfish reasons. It's as though he never existed. Nothing exists. I do. Yes. You do. Did you hear it? Andrew? Yeah. It's coming nearer. back to the house before we get soaked. Are you going to London tonight? Yes, eventually. Take me with you. You mean it? Yes. Let's go now. You're part of the house party, aren't you? I mean, what'll Bobby say? I don't care what Bobby says. Please, hurry before it's too late. Wait. Wait a minute. Please, John, take me away from here. John. He called me John. No. I heard you. I want to see him, is that it? He told you it's finished, you won't accept it. You want me to take you to him? All you wanted was a lift. Why didn't you say so? You're wrong. Oh, come on, baby, you put me on. There's people up at the house. They've got you married off already. They look at me as some kind of threat. And thanks to you, I almost got my head knocked off. The old eye patch, Nelson, came at me with a croquet mallet. It was all good, clean fun, but I saw the look in his eye. I wouldn't have minded if his assumptions had been correct. What difference does it make? Come on. I'm sorry, Stephen, but, but please take me to London. Sure, why not? Party's over for me anyway. And maybe on the way you can tell me why you asked me here. I can't believe it was just because you needed a chauffeur.
I've got a change for it. It doesn't matter. Get in. No. Please, Stephen. Hey, you're frightened of something. What is it? Nothing. Well, you're trembling all over. Tell me. The one of them? One of the guests? Tell me, Rose. Rose, you're not leaving us. Yes. Must you promise me a dance? You can't leave without dancing with I me. I must. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I insist. What's going on out here? It seems dear Rose is leaving us, Lady Sawyer. Leaving? You can't. You can't leave. You're a house guest. Maybe I can explain, you see. You keep out of this, young man. Where are you planning to go, child? London. With him? Oh, it's out of the question. Bobby! Oh, please, Bobby, I must go with him. You can't. Now, Mother, will you please let me handle this in my own way? I'll do nothing of the sort. I think we'd all better go back to the party and discuss this again. Later. Absolutely essential as I talked to her. Will you just go back to the park? No. Roberts, please, Mother, do as you're told. Roberts. Sorry, I uh, didn't mean to make it look like an abduction. Rose just asked me for a lift in oh, the it's town. quite all right, my dear fellow. There's no need to explain. Rose? I'm going, Bobby. Oh. You can't stop me. It won't make any difference. How do you know? I must try, Bobby. Please, let me try. I'm keeping out of this. You settle it between yourselves. I'm gonna go change. Hello, old chap. You're not going already, are you? As a matter of fact, yes. What a pity. Before we've had the chance to get to know you. You're sitting on my case. Am I? So sorry. She's a pretty girl, isn't she? Rose, so very pretty. I do hope that nothing happens to her and John. They're really so well matched. Well, now, that is their business, isn't it? Is it? You seem to be making it yours. Look, the girl asked me for a lift into London. I'm going to take her there. Now, does that meet with your satisfaction? I don't think they'll let her go with you. I can't get back to London unless I refuel first. Is there somewhere around here where I can get some gas? Yes, of course. You can take some from the farm pump. Andrew, would you fetch me the key to the farm pump, please? Very good, sir. You're not going dressed like that. I'll be all right. Not in my car, you won't. You freeze to death. Please, take me now. No, it's ridiculous. Look, while I'm gone, you change. I'll pick you up on the way back. You must do as he says. Uh. 
Sir? Keys to the pump, sir. Oh, thank you. Uh, how do I... How do I get there? Uh, you turn right out of the drive, you follow the road for a mile and a half, you come to the farm buildings on your left. You can't miss them. Thank you. Morning. Yes? Look, I don't mean to be troublesome, but I, I wonder, could you direct me to Misham House? Misham House? Yes. Just a moment. Ben? Gentleman was looking for Misham House. We've met before, haven't we? What do you want with Misham House? I was at a party there last night. Left to get some gas, got lost. You'd better come inside. Thanks. Come in, won't you? Thank you. Just, just before leaving, I went to a farm down the road to get some gas. Oh, sit down, please. Must got the wrong place. Anyway. Say, well, when I tried to get back to the house, I couldn't find it. You say you were at Mission House last night? Yes. <laughs> you couldn't have been, dear. What? Not at Mission House, you wouldn't. It's ridiculous, don't you understand? I'm telling you, I was there last night. Not at Meacham House, you weren't. It was burned down. Oh, years ago now. Terrible fire. We must be talking of different places. No, but not. There was a big party. Fancy dress. We'll never forget what happened that night. They say it was the lightning that did it. Struck the house just like that and, and all them people inside. I'm sorry, you, you must be mistaken. No. No. Not us. Remember the name of the man who lived there? Sawyer, wasn't it? He'd been there for years. Handed down like father and son. Sir Robert Sawyer? Yeah, that's him. He was the last. What happened to him? He died like the rest of them. 
Not many got out alive, did they? It all happened so quick, you see, over so quick. You certain of all this? Yeah, I can remember because of the girl. What girl? That we, we heard this banging on the door, you see. That was what woke us up, and there she was, one of the guests, burned all over. It was terrible. We carried her in, laid her down comfortable. It was nothing anyone could do for her. She died right here in this room. Or... My husband went over to the house to see what he could do, but it was hopeless. Flames lighting up the whole sky. They could see it for miles round. This girl, what did she have on? Tell her what she found next morning. It was some sort of uh, gauze-like material. She tore it up, I suppose, to stop herself from burning. Show it to him, my dear. You kept it? I could, I could never bring myself to throw it out. Please, let me see it. Uh, I'll go and pitch it. Uh, this fire, when did it happen? What year? Can you remember? Must have been about uh, 1928 or 29. 40 years ago, anyway. was dropped through my letterbox. I held it in my head. And uh, my friends saw it. I came. I asked you for directions, remember? Huh? And, and it was a sign to Misham House. And I found it. And, and they knew me. They knew me. I didn't know them, but they knew who I was. Champagne. I danced. And, and this girl rose. Well, she was real. She was tangible. Alive. I couldn't have imagined her. I, I was there, I know. Not possible. You must have dreamt it. No. Not a dream. Some sort of bird costume, is it? The wing of a bird.
The key. What's that key? To the pump. The butler gave me a key to the gas pump. I've got it in the car. It'll prove I was there. Come on, I'll show you. Maybe it was the pump at Old Dacre's farm down the road. But that hasn't been used for many years now. You know, I've seen a car like this before somewhere. Gentleman who came to see us the morning after the fire. He had one like this. Because one remembered cars in those days, not like now. I don't remember. Well, I do. London gentleman he was. Wasn't the party, but seems he knew the girl well. Fiancé, was it? Anyway, he was very upset. I remember that. Do you remember his name? Oh, no. His profession? Was he a surgeon? Yes. Now you come to mention it, I, I think it was something medical. John Marchmount. <laughs> yes. It certainly was very similar. Thank you. 